This tutorial is all about how to paint boats, so the emphasis will definitely be upon the boats. And please do make sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I will be showing how to sketch out the boat in this profile of the one that I'm painting now and talk about the different parts of the boat. So I have done a light wash across the painting, just painting around the shape of the boats to leave them white. Um, you can see plenty of the other videos about laying on washes. So today we're just concentrating on the boats. Um, I've done a few different uh, angles so that you can see them um, in different profiles. And these are nice little wooden boats of a dinghy type that are used for rowing out to larger boats for getting on and off those boats and coming into shore. Um, different parts of the boat, of course, we've got the bow, we've got the stern, we've got the keel at the bottom. At the front, we have the stern post sticking up there. And then along the side where I've painted the yellow, you got the uh, top strake and the gunwale and cap in, all forming one part at the top there. And because this is rowing boats, you'll see in the first one there, I painted a couple of what was called roll uh, row locks um, for for placing the oars in in those and being able to row. Um, we've got little buoys which add some extra interest, little red ones um, on the uh, wet sand, muddy areas where the boats are beached. Um, so this um, next boat up at a different angle, um, these are boats that are built with a sort of skeleton and then a um, Plank, uh, planking laid upon that skeleton structure. Uh, these days of course it's nearly all fiberglass but these old wooden boats have got so much character in them I like painting them. Um, so the, the light is coming from the left to the right uh, therefore I will be emphasizing the correct placing of shadows um, so you'll see on this nearest boat that the back of the boat is in some shadow the next one up to the left will have more shadow painted on it to the right of the boat then the third one up has got shadow on its right hand side looking from our angle and then the top one's just got a little bit of shadow at the front. Now I'm, past, I'm painting at the moment a distant tree line because this is really flat country and there aren't any hills or any to speak of or anything like that but this is just indicating uh, a very light tree line. Then there's the grassy bank um, coming down to the water's edge and I do like to leave a little bit of light where the bank meets the tree line that adds a little bit of interest and a, and a demarcation between the two and helps emphasize the distance and as you see I worked from right to left so the brush was loaded up with pigment and as I work my way all the way across to the left where the brightest part is then the pigment um, will become softer, more mellow and uh, faded. You can do a mixture of different colours for the muddy area, the wet sand where the boats are beached. Um, just, just vary that and leave little interesting shapes, break it up and I do find that a flat brush is especially good for doing this as I'm demonstrating now. Um, if necessary, um, you can always go into a smaller brush the further away you get into the painting where it becomes a little bit more tricky with space um, and there is detail. But um, if you can stick with it, you'll find it um, very useful to practice 
with the flat brush um, in these situations. So a lot of wet and wet going on here, um, different colours all fusing together and do remember to like and subscribe because if you do so you'll be notified of future videos and it's all free. And then we've got little puddles um, coming up on the beached area and um, on the far bank we'll lay in a little bit of a demarcation between the puddled area and the far bank and we've also put some little shadows um, at the banking area where the grass is overhang the bank. Now painting in those um, darker shadow areas that I, I mentioned I would do on, on the boats paying attention to the sun area. So there's a, a finished painting. Now as promised I'm actually drawing uh, an in pencil that nearest boat. So I've started at the bow with the stern post. That is always a good point to start at the front of the boat and then work backwards. Then I've uh, drawn the um, gunwale with its captain etc and top straight um, first at a nice bowed angle. And then the far side, you'll notice if you study them carefully, that the far side, instead of that being um, shaped, um, is often a very straight line. That's the optical situation that you'll find. And then at the stern of the boat, we've got a little area where people can sit and little posts. And then we'll, we'll come to the stern itself and for this particular type of wooden boat it comes down like that and then it goes um, into the keel area. So having done the bow and the stern and left the shapes for the keel area I'm now drawing in where the keel comes down to the sand. And because it's actually settled in the sand um, we've got a little bit of break right in the middle of it there where the sand has come above the kill. And that kill will be a nice dark colour as is often the case, a brown or a red, you can choose. And as I said these are ribbed type boats so they have these wooden structures like a skeleton um, then plankings of placed upon that as a frame. So we got the middle section where the rower would sit and then those ribbons coming in. And it's good to practice this, you know, if you have a little sketch pad I would highly recommend it. You might see one out whilst walking about, have a little sketch pad and handy with you all the time and then just do a quick sketch. I mean, they're just sketches, so don't worry about it. It's not like you're going to um, publish that sketch, put it in an exhibition or anything. No one else has to see it, just you. And it's helping you uh, learn how to uh, draw these different shapes. So drawing in now those different side parts of the boat and little bits of planking and so forth and the top gunwale and captain. we're getting close to having finished this so I hope you have enjoyed this tuition and as I said this is proof that we do listen to what people say and where it's possible we will actually complete a painting of the suggestion. Thank you, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.